Sure. Uh, th uh, thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press. On behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, thanks a lot for this briefing. I wanted to ask, you know, you, obviously the U.S. has a veto in the Security Council, as do the other four, and they had a veto in choosing Ban Ki-moon as the Secretary General and him being re renewed. Now that he's in his second term, I wonder how do you, just since you're here at the UN, how do you view sort of the UN Secretariat, UNRWA, the whole kind of UN machinery on the question of Palestine? How do you do you view it as as even-handed between the two sides, or or as so? And the other, if you're willing to go once beyond Palestine, is I'd love to hear your analysis of the Kobani, the situation in Kobani in, in, in Syria with the Kurds, but only if time permits. Thank you. Well, the situation, of, of, with regard to the UN leadership, one has to always qualify. There's a certain range of options open to the UN leadership, but obviously the UN cannot proceed beyond the bounds permitted by the great powers. And in this particular case, Israel-Palestine, that means primarily the United States. The record of uh, is overwhelming and very clear for uh, uh, 50, almost 50 years. Uh, the, and I think uh, within those bounds, the UN leadership has done ab about what it could. I mean, you can criticize this or that uh, judgment, but uh, uh, the limits are fairly narrow. Uh, as I just mentioned, there was even a U.S. veto of a resolution uh, endorsing official U.S. policy. Uh, that's pretty extreme and indicates what the limits are, once again. With regard to Kobani, uh, it's a shocking situation. Uh, this morning's newspaper, uh, as you read, uh, described a Turkish military operation against Kurds in Turkey, not against ISIS, a couple of kilometers across the border, uh, where they're in danger of being slaughtered. Uh, as long as uh, uh, I think the UN, something should be done at the UN, at least in terms of a very strong resolution to uh, uh, call for a, a ceasefire, a, it's hard to Im impose the use of force, but to the extent that it can be done to try to protect uh, Kobani from destruction at the hands of ISIS, which could be a major massacre uh, with enormous consequences. The strategic significance of the town in the Kurdish region is pretty obvious, and uh, Turkey's role is critical in this. If we could try to keep questions.